Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Indie Boost Tech here, and I'm back with another app review. Uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new, well, I don't say brand new, uh, it's been out for a while now, and it's the one of my personal favourites, uh, actually, it's the Virgin TV Anywhere application. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and click this now. Uh, so this is mainly based for the UK, but I'm sure there is a UK, uh, US version of this uh, particular application for TiVo, but this we're going to take a look at the UK version. And this has already been hooked up to uh, my uh, Virgin TiVo box and has been for quite some time now. So uh, we're going to go to uh, Access Anyway. And basically, you register with your email address, which you get with your Virgin account when you set up. Uh, they'll provide you with an email address, and from there, you can simply just tether, tether it up to the internet connection. And you, you want to make sure that your box is connected to your Super Hub or router uh, so you can get internet connection. Therefore, you can ac actually access and wirelessly control your, I uh, your TiVo box using your iPod. So, as you can see in front of you, you've got all of the, the, the typical guide for Virgin TiVo. As you can see, we've got a range of channels here it's telling us everything that's on at the moment. Uh, so it's about um, it's about half two here in the UK. So you've got all the all the programs that are on now. So I'm just going to scroll up and down to show you what which ones uh, are there. So I have the XL package. So I've got pretty much all the channels apart from the extras, which you get like Sky Sports and things like that. But this is pretty much the TV guide. And for example, if, we, if I click on uh, any channel, for example, I'm going to go ahead and click on. Um, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look at the history channel so I'm going to click on that and from there you can go to watch now and you have the option of watching it on your TV or or basically your iPod so if you want to click on the iPod you just simply watch it on your iPod which is a good feature not all the channels like to do this but in particular you get, you'll get the other few where you can watch them on the iPod some are just you can only watch on your TV uh, I'm not going to click that now due to copyright reasons I can't actually show that video to you uh, but that you'll simply just press uh, watch on my iPod. So there you go, that's pretty much the guide. And so, as I, for example here, um, it goes, I'm away from home, even though cause I haven't really set it up properly. But it's really showing you uh, how to actually control the iPod. And you just basically want to go through the setup guide. And it'll take you right through how to set it up and tether it with an Ethernet cable to your hub. So just basically just follow those instructions. Then if you go to my shows, uh, as you can see, I've got a range of shows here. Uh, that are on saved to my uh, storage. As you can see, I've almost finished it. It's up to 95%. But from there, again, you can you know uh, delete or edit your saved uh, shows on the iPod uh, using the iPod, and you can delete whichever shows that you don't want, and you can just keep cycling through all your saved shows that are there. Uh, so if you go to browse, uh, you can just simply, it's basically with the TiVo uh, applicator or TiVo box. Uh, you can simply uh, record, as I've mentioned, uh, you could also go on playback and watch uh, shows that you may have missed. So if I, for example, go on TV, uh, here's some of the box sex or TV shows that I may have missed. Uh, so if we go back again, we'll go to movies, which may have been on, uh, some which someone guessing you have to pay for. But there's a whole uh, range of movies here you can either buy or rent or simply go along with that. Uh, sports again, you've got sport uh, channels, as you can see you've got cricket, rugby, motorsport, horse riding, golf, athletics, basically all your channels are there. And here you've got, here you got your basically your settings section, so you've got my planned recordings, I haven't really got anything planned to record at the moment. Uh, you've got your series link which records on a, on a well, an ad hoc more basis, so it records whenever the show is on. Uh, you can simply just search uh, through uh, pretty much the whole uh, setup guide. You have the remote control function, which you're going to need to set up the actual main uh, box to use, uh, using that. And you just simply just follow the instruction guide here. Uh, so you just simply just go back to the, if you want to get out of that, you simply go back to the app, and it'll take you straight back to the application. Uh, then you've got your help uh, thing, which again, you need to set up. And you have your um, DVR, as you can see, this is my DVR box uh, recognition. Uh, <laughs> recognization number which is there so that when you're searching for the box that's what will come up then you have your general settings here uh, email address uh, sound effects uh, just basically just technical support and things like that uh, which they can actually well virgin themselves can actually get back to you so this is pretty much a good app I would definitely give this app a, a 10 out of 10 uh, simply because there's there isn't anything you can you can't do on this application apart from there's some channels which you cannot watch 
uh, certain programs from the iPod, but you still have almost full control over the TiVo box used in the iPod. This is why this application gets the rating it does. And it is a really good application. It came out, I think it was late uh, 2012, and it's done really well. So many people have gone out and, you know, and it's a free app as well, I forgot to mention, of course, for this series. It's going to be free app. So this is a free app, which is fantastic. And, yeah, I can't really fault this application anyways, uh, in any shape, way, way or form. It's, a, it's really good. Um, it's a fantastic application. And, yep. Yeah, so if you run, if you're living in the UK or in the US and you're hoping to get a TiVo application to control your TiVo box, I would def definitely recommend it without a shadow of a doubt. So this has been Boost Tech here. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Now, pleasant day, and take care for now. And thank you for watching.